what's up you guys my name is Sam and thanks for checking out my channel you may notice this is a slightly different spot than I filmed my first video I had a bit of a Philly mishap but in order to get the video out for Sunday then I had to refilm it and the spot I was filming it before the lighting doesn't work because of how late it is so gonna give it a spot a go here I wanted to talk about my instant buy authors because this area has really like developed in the last like year and a half since I've been able to start reading for pleasure again now that I am out of university. So the first instant buy author that I want to talk about probably won't surprise anyone if you've seen what my channel name is. Diana Gabaldon. She is the author of the Outlander series. At this point I believe it is at eight full novels. There's two companion guides, a novella, bind up, a graphic novel, a cookbook, and a TV series which is on its third season. It is a time-traveling romance originally set in Scotland, but then they go all over the place to um, France right before the um, French Revolution is going to happen. There is also the American Revolution and a lot of other time periods. So if you like any sort of romance or time traveling or history, I would definitely pick it up. It, it falls under a lot of different genres, so I'm sure you'll find something to like about it. The second Insta by author I have is Mindy McGuinness. I totally got onto her after The Female of the Species, which despite being a contemporary, I really ended up loving. So she just writes some really interesting stories and focuses on a lot of different issues, and she's written a book in quite a few different genres, and I found out she's a librarian, so I'm really happy to support her. The third Instant by author I have is Amy Tintera. She has a duology called Reboot, I believe it is. The first book is Reboot, the second one is Rebel. That It's like a dystopian where the people come back to life after they die, but the longer you stay dead before coming back to life, the more powers you have. And there's like a whole conspiracy thing going on there. Then she also has Ruined. The sequel, Avenged, came out this year, and then this third book of the trilogy, Allied, is coming out in 2018. A brand new author, who despite only having one published book right now, is an instant buy author for me, is Trisha Levenseller. I was just seduced by Daughter of the Pirate King. It's funny, it's very much, as I'd said before, it's very reminiscent of Gilmore Girls dialogue. There's lots of snazzy sassiness, and that is what I want in a female Jack Sparrow pirate. I've gotten my hands on the arc for the sequel of it. I like the first book better than the sequel, but I am really excited to keep following her along. I know she's also writing a book about female Vikings, and then she also has another untitled book. So I am at least getting four books out of her right now. An instant by author for really most people that read YA, and that myself is included in that, is Leigh Bardugo. She wrote the Grisha trilogy, which is now being expanded, I guess. She also wrote the new Wonder Woman book that came out, Wonder Woman Warbringer. She also has the Six of Crows duology, and if you haven't read her yet, my goodness, get on it! She's such a good author. She has this like ability to write diverse casts and be funny and creative and world building without being too wordy, which I really love. I love her enough that I bought the books originally in paperback and then I upgraded all of them to hardcover. And then I also bought the brand new paperback covers that just came out this year for the series, which are also really beautiful. So I have two copies of each of the Grisha Trilogy books. We've discussed I have a book buying problem, okay? I am definitely not the only person who is addicted to this one. I am trash for mass and I have no guilt about this. I can't help it. I Akatar is my favorite. She also has the Throne of Glass series. I enjoy both of them, but Akatar is much more my first love of Sarah Mass. These books give me such emotional whiplash. I can't I just know going into every book that someone is going to Mass is going to break my heart because a character is going to be completely ruined for me, and then someone I hated is going to be changed. I mean, you can read the first book of this, and then read A Court of Mist and Fury, and then you will hate everyone that you loved in the first book, and love everyone that you hated in it. So, yeah. And I mean, 
other than Jamie Fraser, my book boyfriend is definitely Riesland. And there is the first three books of this series is out. There's a novella and then three full books coming out and then a second novella, I think, for this. So there's supposed to be eight in total. And then Throne of Glass is supposed to be six full books. But we also got a novella this past year. Well, a novella. It was like 600 pages of one of the main characters' story. So I don't know how long that series is actually going to be, but we'll see. Someone who I discovered actually at the same time I discovered Bardugo, Marissa Meyer. If you've never seen this series, my god. So this is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. It is a retelling of a bunch of different fairy tales. So Cinder is a retelling where Cinderella is a cyborg. Then there is Scarlet, which includes Cinder and then a Red Riding Hood retelling. And then there is Crest, which is a Rapunzel. And each book, one more cast member joins, joins the crew. The writing from Cinder to the last book in the series, Winter, as she added a new cast member, she just was able to up her writing skills, Meyer. So I'm excited that she's going to keep writing. She just released the book Renegades. It's a fat book, but I'm going to try and read it in December. And I'm really curious to see if she is better at just sticking with retellings or if her writing is able to also work with original content. An instant by author that I have that I have never really heard anyone else talk about other than Haley in Bookland is Anne Blankbin. So she wrote the Prisoner of Night and Fog duology. So this duology is set in Nazi Germany during Hitler's rise. And the main character is an extremely close family friend of Adolf Hitler, close enough that she refers to him as Uncle Dolph. And it's the story of her meeting a Jewish man or Jewish boy, I guess, and realizing exactly what is happening to his community and how she deals with it. And it's a heartbreaking book, but it's so cool. Good enough that I picked up the only other published work by this author at this point called Trader Angels really recently. I am definitely really excited to read that book to see if I love it as much as Prisoner of Night and Fog. I love this duology enough that I own the UK covers, which is these ones, and the American covers. Because I have a book buying problem, okay? An author I've already mentioned on this channel a couple times, Elise Kova. I, I just automatically assume I'm going to buy her. She actually recently posted on her Elise Kova street team, her marketing Facebook group, saying, oh, by the way, I have a new book coming out. I hope you're all excited. And I commented, cool, can I pre-order it yet? And she replied, you don't even know what the summary is yet. What, what does that matter? I want to spend my money on you. No, she pumps out books really fast. I really like her writing style. It, this is the YA series, Air Awakens. It's five, five books total. And then she also has the Loom Saga, which she started having come out this year. The first book, Alchemists of Loom, came out in January. The second book, Dragons of Nova, came out in like June. And the third book of the trilogy, Rebels of Gold, is coming out in December. I'm so excited. I have it pre-ordered. I mean, the new, the Loom Saga is definitely an adult one. It's dark, it's gritty, it's sexy, and like, it's it's just really imaginative and she's not published by a big publisher so I hope more people will support her so she can get her name out a little bit more than is currently out. Another author I also mentioned in my original video is Ryan Grodin. Oh, this, oh, I love this author. So Wolf by Wolf is her first duology. Or no, yeah, first duology. She also has a book called The Walled City, which is a standalone. Actually, I think I have it up here. And then directly beside it is Invictus, which is her most recently published work. It is a time traveling one. The Walled City is a historical fiction. And this one is also historical fiction. And the summary or the little blurb on the front says it all of what would happen if Hitler won World War II. And that is the entire premise of this book. There's a motorcycle race and there's like science fiction people's faces morphing and all that fun stuff. My second to last instant by author, yeah, I know there's a lot of them, is Renee Adier. She wrote The Wrath and the Dawn duology and the first one is The Wrath and the Dawn. The second one is The Rose and the Dagger. And she recently released, well not recently, a couple months ago, released Flame in the Mist, which is a Mulan retelling series. And the first book, it wasn't as good as The Wrath and the Dawn for me, but you can tell it's just a setup for like, things are going to go crazy in the second book. I don't know if it's going to be just a duology or not. I absolutely devoured this first duology. I literally read this one and the sequel in a single day. And they're like decent sized books. They're 
three, four hundred, almost four hundred pages each. And the setting, oh, it was just such a refreshing setting to like not be like set in New York or Paris or something like that. And I would highly recommend it. The covers are really pretty too for this one and Flame in the Mist. So I'm really, really excited to see where her writing goes and what else she puts out there. And last, but definitely not least, because this is one of my like favorites, is Heidi Healing. She is another one that has not, doesn't really have a whole lot of content, unfortunately. All that I've been able to find is her duology, The Girl from Everywhere, and the sequel to it is The Ship Beyond Time. She also has a book coming out in 2018, and I think it's supposed to be a Shakespeare retelling or something about Shakespeare because the title's like For the Muse of Something or Fire of Muse. It's some line that I remember from Shakespeare. So I am extremely, extremely excited about that. So those are all of my Instant Buy authors. I hope they have some of your favorites on there. Let me know what your Instant Buy authors are for sure in the comment section below. I may be missing someone, which I would be horrified to know because mind you, I'd be also horrified to find out because then I'd just have to add it to my to read pile. And I mean, my Goodreads to read pile, it's like 550 books right now. It's just gotten out of hand. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, or Friday, maybe not Saturday. I'm still figuring that out. Make sure to check out the description box down below. I will be putting Goodreads links to all of the books that I mentioned, and I will also be putting all my social media information on there. I am on Instagram, Litzy, obviously on YouTube, Goodreads, and I have my own blog website as well. So make sure to join me anywhere you can, and if you follow me, I will follow you back.